Hi everyone. In this project, we will how export animation data, population character animation that data into Unity game engine. As you see, we have a idle animation character. As you see, we want export this animation into Unity game engine. As you see, play game mode. Yes, in Unity, or animation transfer it into or Unity game engine scene character. As you see, or character animation has transferred into Unity game engine. And we have loop animation into Unity game engine. Perfect. If you are ready, let's start. We add a character from populate. Select this idle areas. And yes, when we see this icon, enough and select modifier when this area selected maybe male yes and simulate yes alt w we can seven we can change select we can change resolution as you see regenerate this and age maybe size maybe origin maybe and so we can choose this one and regenerate and we can yes maybe this one or yes regenerate again yes okay and animations is as you see Perfect. Yes. We can hide this she and select and peak selected and select all of and export. Selected and name is character maybe character yes character save yes animation okay bake animation okay and okay Yes, all animations here, as you see. Perfect. Yes, yes. Let's go back to Unity Engine and open uh, Unity Hub and new project and 3D sample scene. Yes, and and create project yes as you see or unity project open it now I am using unity version in this project 2022.1.20 f1 you can use other high version it's not important and or project 
has opened in universal render pipeline. It's important. We can some change in our Unity project right now and window rendering and lighting and auto generate you, we can cancel and environment we can cancel fog yes and we can uh, I want change for my unity project and maybe yes and here is she maybe right here and game maybe yes yes perfect and project maybe here yes okay yes we can delete some unnecessary uh, right click and unpack com completely and we need just ground we, we need just ground and we can delete yes perfect and we can add a folder right click create folder character yes and right click import new asset yes as you see we can import this character yes perfect as you see or animation is running as you see and we can add our character into our scene yes maybe this icons small and select camera and yes game object along the wheel as you see perfect maybe we can close and character maybe middle of ground yes perfect as you see our character hasn't texture so let's go to back to 3d studio mix again and rendering render setup and skyline renderer and select and open material editor and standard legacy and select this tool and pick the or character yes and or characters pet here yes we can choose this character and right click yes as you see our texture is here and we can import into unity game engine yes import texture we select the character texture image that we paste it into our project folder import yes as you see or character texture appear right by and select this one maybe we can create material new one mat one yes and we can add base map and add and maybe and maybe emission we can add texture again and maybe just a bit white yes yes perfect and we can test for animation and play game mode 
nothing happened as you see what will we what will we do for import animation from 3d studio max into unity game engine close yes uh, we can choose this character and go to the rig menu and create from this model first of all you can see animator not here and select and rig and create from this model and apply and character as you see animator is here automatically we can try for animation yes as you see nothing happened what we will do select this character and animation we can change name character anima maybe enter and maybe loop time and apply and okay we can again try for test nothing happening as you see and we can create empty and name is timeline maybe yes and we can add another folder in asset section folder name is timeline data maybe or timeline data yes we can sequence and we select window menu and sequence and timeline and select this timeline and create and select all timeline and name is timeline okay we can add timeline to here yes and when select this timeline and animation track and drag and add here and character and or maybe yes or character anima perfect and we can control as you see animation data transfer it to our character and key mode yes as you see our animation is running and animation data transferred into our character but we need to uh, loop but character animation has and so we can change this character you can see also here uh, and right click create animator controller uh, anima loop maybe yes and double click and select character anime and again drag and right click make transition yes and right click make transition okay and we can game mode again yes or character uh, has idle animation and it's running and yes uh, it hasn't loop right now so we can character yes we can add animal loops yes 
Right now we can try again. Timeline. Yes. Yes, as you see, animation has loop right now and we can and we can transfer it of animation data into our character in our Unity game engine scene. Perfect. Yes. Thanks for watching and see you in another project.